A late night comedy veteran, Tommy Jonigan has released his third stand up comedy album, appeared in several TV cameos, and is just one hit TV show away from being a household name. And he might just get that with his current project in development. This weekend, he headlines the Funny Bone Comedy Club at Village Point Mall. Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here again. It is Funny Bone this weekend going on. Tommy Jonigan, he is in town Friday, Saturday. And he also had some shows last night, which was Thursday, back at the Funny Bone. Two shows each night. Make sure you go out and check him out. He's also online. You can check out the link on the side of the page. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Tommy Johnigan. How, How are you? you? I'm good. How are you, man? Good. Is this the professional lighting? This is this is our budget. I feel very shadowy. This is our, our, our budget here. Do we just hold yeah. my iPhone up <coughs> yeah, and like we that. light yeah. each other? There we, there go. we go. Oh, that's even worse. Move that back. <laughs> something like that. We're working on, you know, not quite the, uh, the big All right. Well, here, this is News Channel... News Channel 6. 6. NBC affiliate here in Omaha. That's where I get all my Omaha news. Well, glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah. We're streaming online. Oh. If you're ever in China I... and you need to know what's going on in Omaha, you can tune in That's online. That's what the Chinese are doing, I heard. <laughs> That's true. Making iPhones and checking Omaha news. Exactly, exactly. Where are you coming from? I was in uh, Sioux Falls, Sioux City, Iowa last night. No, okay. two nights ago. And then I came straight to Omaha. But I live in Los Angeles now. Oh, yeah? So, uh, these are, this is just like being home. Omaha is just like a little Los Angeles. I, I can no, not believe that one. That's not true. Not believe that one. Bit. Sioux City is like a little Los Angeles. They have a <laughs> casino and everything. Are you a big gambler? Do you go to the casinos often? No, it's a small casino. It's just like a deck of cards and a <laughs> slot machine. But it was fun. We had a good time. They were very nice to me. Two free meals. You can't complain about that. No, two free meals. There you go. But I here we are in Omaha. What happens normally? Do people kiss you, or what happens? Here? Usually, yeah. Usually, there's a makeout session somewhere All right. in there. Is this on the news? This, this, the parts, parts of this will yeah. be on the news. The full it's thing on the going to be edited. This seems this is very loose right now. Very loose and casual. We're going to learn about the Omaha stock market and Warren Buffett. Good, good stocks here. Yeah, oh, Warren yeah. Buffett, of course. Well, you know, I I was looking at your your website and I saw that you've been doing some work on uh, CBS. You might have a pilot coming up, is that right? Well, I did a sh I did a pilot uh, in in April mm -hmm. and it didn't get picked up, but I I sold another show to CBS, so I'm now working on the new show, Onward What's, Upward. Is that the name of it, Onward Upward? No, but it could be. Oh, you can okay. have that for this segment, Onward Maybe. Upward. Maybe that's a good one, Onward Upward. What and is then the camera What's... points to this guy. <laughs> uh, the new show is it's uh, I'm I'm just writing it right now, so we're. Uh, we're in the early, early phase of uh, it's it's nothing yet. There's a, a check has been written and the script has not. So they wrote you a check and just said, "Yeah." We're and then they then I'm in Omaha. They, they probably would not love the idea that they paid me to be in <laughs> Omaha. I would imagine they probably wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. But I'd, I'd come to Omaha for free. Oh well, that's good because I you know, I can but talk to Colleen and she can save money on the no, budget. No, no, let's not, not do that. Let's not do no, that. No, not do that. So. Uh, this is the green room. This is the green room. This is this is where all the top talent get ready. All the big yeah, stars yeah. come to this little, little Everyone's been closet. Here. This green closet here. This is here. exciting. <laughs> get ready. It's very exciting. There's a, an official sign in Sharpie that says, do not enter. There's an interview in progress. And there's even a little post-it note here on the wall for you. No, that says, says for me. That's They're reminding me to be up in the morning. <laughs> reminding okay. you to wake up. It's very professional here. It says sharp. 8, 8 a.m. sharp. <laughs> 8 a.m. sharp. That's the, that's the note you get after you're late. Exactly. Were you late this morning? I have slept. I slept accidentally. I have, I have two kids at home, so when I'm on, when I'm gone, I sleep. It's it's weird though as a comic because you get up in the morning, you do radio or TV, then you sleep for probably six, seven hours, then you get up and do a two-hour show, and then. Well, I wish like I could that. sleep for six hours during the day. <laughs> I sleep for five hours at night, and then do. Uh, I'm Todd and Tyler. It's a very mm -hmm. big show here, so I get to do that in the morning. I'm excited, and uh, then I'll t I'll take a short nap. I'll go to the gym. Mm. There's a very good gym here. With a steam room, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Lifetime Fitness. Lifetime Fitness. Are you, you have a membership, Lifetime Fitness? I think my hotel lets me in. I think my oh, hotel. Okay. I sneak in. It's a nice little deal. I normally I come with a mop bucket and I just walk <laughs> past the front desk. That I have to remember. I bring that. my own mop bucket. You have to check a bag, but it's worth it to get into a gym. I have to remember that mop bucket. Yeah, yeah it's a mop bucket. It's a pretty fancy gym there. Huh? Mop bucket gets me in there. I'll yeah, I gotta stay in shape. Two kids and a and a gal. I got a two-month-old baby and a three-year-old baby. Is that chaos at home? No, I, I focus mainly on the the old baby. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm team old baby. I love the old baby more. The new baby, it's two girls. So I just had mm. like a crappy version of what I already had. It's it's a new baby that doesn't do anything, and I got an old baby that does everything. Mm. We watch baseball together. We watch sports. I'm going team old baby. What's the old baby's favorite team? Favorite yeah. team? She's on my teams right now. So she's also she, we'll watch two innings of a game and then we'll do art. <laughs> She's an artist. 
Is she painting painting the teeth colors? She's got a long line. She can draw an H. Her name's Harper, so she can draw an H. Oh, that's good. I mean, she's three, along. so she's yeah. Along. She did say she wanted the new baby to stop breathing, and she put her hand over her mouth. <laughs> which, yeah. on one hand, you're like, I oh, don't, I don't want you to kill that baby, but that is pretty advanced that you know how to. Mm. Like for three-year-olds to know how to make a kid stop breathing. That's, I mean, it's a bittersweet moment as a father. I yeah, imagine. yeah. You know, you I just felt like excited. proud that they've learned these techniques, but at the same time, don't, don't do them. Yeah, a nice little murderer. That's nice. But be good at something is what I say. Yeah, yeah. I have to keep an eye out when they get into kindergarten. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> there, uh, I am, you got your second album out now too, right? Third. I titled the first one Stand Up Comedy, the second one Stand Up Comedy 2, and the third one Stand Up Comedy 3. I've got the fourth title. I'm not going to tell anybody, but when I do a fourth album, I know what the title's going to be. Now, I'm still, I'm still no a little spoilers. confused as to, as to what the fourth one could be, but where do you come up with the name? Like, like you know, that? a lot of people have jo uh, made uh, fun of me and said, oh, that's a name. Uh, it's easy. It's simple. They make, oh, how did you come up with that? It's so easy. I will tell you this, there's been stand-up comedians for decades, stand-up comedians releasing albums for decades, no one has called one stand-up comedy. Really? So I would say some of the most creative people in the country are making albums and none of them thought to title it stand-up comedy. So I would say it's almost extra creative. I would think that's actually pretty pure genius at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. You're genius if you want to say it. Come out and see a genius. Genius man, right? Not me, but uh, there's a guy here. How long does it take you to put an album together? I like to do a two, three year in between. Okay. It, it just, uh, I don't like to rush. I like to, you know, try to feel good about it and also have tour with something that's not on an album. And then when it's on an album, you've got a bunch of different stuff. So right now I'm doing about half of Stand Up Comedy 3. And then when I'm doing none of Stand Up Comedy 3, I'll, I'll record another thing, maybe a special. Oh, there you go. Maybe can you bring this camera? We can shoot it on this. We can we can try. I mean, this is you know, this camera. I can probably sneak it into. How much do you think will these cost? Uh, my guess, uh, probably twenty thousand dollars. Probably a little under that, I would say. Do you think for real? For real, I'd say probably a little under that. Yeah. All right. Some of them cost a lot. This one, uh, <clears throat> smaller budgets. We're working with. <laughs> Small budgets. Smaller budgets. I should have done News Channel Three. <laughs> is that a thing here? That is a thing here. Okay. That sorry. is a thing here. Let's watch six. Yes, watch six. Three. So that's a story for another day. I'd love to know how much of this is going to make it on the news tomorrow. We'll probably throw about two or three clips on there. Oh, look. So some Let's of your best stuff. So if you got something, ask you want a to question. Throw out there. I have a new baby. I have an old baby. What do you want? Do the thing. I love my old baby more than she deserves. I don't know if you've ever met a three-year-old woman, but they're not nice people. I can't imagine. I'm with a, uh, a almost a thirty-year-old woman, and it's it's not enjoyable. Will they get better as they get older a little bit? Uh, you're, you're, is it your daughter? No. No, no that would no. make sense. No. I went in to get my daughter out of her room, and I just said, I love you, baby. That was the first thing I said. And she said, I want mommy, which is not how you respond to I love you. And then I was like, well, have fun getting out of your crib by yourself, you jerk. Just left her in there for days. Think about what she did. That's no, I'm joking. She can crawl out. <laughs> now, are, like you, are, you, are you worried about the second one when it's getting a little older? Kind of taking you, after no, the No, no, I care old? way less about the second one. I'm not worried. I'm worried about the first one. The second one I, don't, I, don't, I haven't even bonded with yet. She's just a few weeks old. So that one, that one's mom's, and the older one's yours. Huh? Yep, that's how we divided it. If you have kids, that's what you do. The new one goes to mom, the old one goes to dad. Is there a certain point where it reached maybe like two years old where you said, okay, now I'll step in and, and I take hope care so. of it? I hope so. I mean, once it gets past the poop stage, they say that uh, you know you love all your kids equally, and uh, the, there's no favorites. I, c I clearly have a favorite, so maybe that will end. But if you were to say, give me your baby. The, I would, the new baby would be up in the air and I would grab the old baby and we'd be running off before you finished your sentence. I'm team old baby. Team old baby. It's a hashtag. Hashtag team old baby all the way. You seen that skit? Where they do that? It's an SNL thing? It's a, it's Jimmy, a Fallon. Jimmy Fallon thing where they go yeah, yeah. hashtag. Is that on, are you on NBC? Uh, we are on NBC. So oh, that thank is, God. That is our, that is thank our God. I was, really, was really worried. You're plugging someone else. Well, I, I, was, I was curious. I, I saw that you've done Letterman quite a few times. Is there, is there a reason why you do Letterman instead of him? Or how does that work getting on? Well, on when I first started doing Letterman way back in the day, there was a man named Jay Leno that had another show. Mm -hmm. And there was a, uh, I was a regular on Letterman, which is very fortunate. And you're, at the time, if you were a regular on Letterman, you couldn't do... Uh, Leno, or if you did, you would be kind of off the Letterman list for a year or mm. two. So I, you know, I did Letterman every year for seven years, and then uh, then he he passed away, and uh, <laughs> now we have uh, Stephen Colbert. So does that mean you is that kind of grandfather you into Stephen Colbert? I'm deciding now. Stephen that. Colbert is being very political. It's election season, kind of. It's a year away, which is insane that we're talking about it so much. Uh, I, I'll, I'll figure out if I'm going to do a Fallon or a, um, 
the Colbert. I do Conan, and then there's a new guy named James Corden that could mm. be fun. Do you like him? Work. He seems fun. I like what he's doing. And then uh, who's the other guy? Seth Meyers? Seth Meyers, yeah. He seems fun. He's on your network. Yes, he is. He's probably on this show, I assume. <laughs> I, th I think he's actually stopping at the end of the uh, Yeah, yeah. Is he coming in? Interview? Seth. Oh, you don't want to be on? <laughs> Go ahead. He says Seth he Myers. doesn't do small time Seth Meyers popped in. <laughs> But this is good. Where should I go while I'm here? Where should you go? Well, there's a. Are you, do you like the local cuisine or do you like more? I'll uh, go local fancy cuisine. Stuff? Well, there's a, actually a, a little pizza place actually right down here. In right the down mall. The street here. I can't uh, believe that. On the other side of the mall. Okay, thank God. And it's called Pitch. It's a pizza place. Pitch. It's pretty good. It's close for you, so you don't really have to travel too far. You don't get lost. Anything like that. I don't that. like travel. Where is the place that Warren Buffett goes all the time? Uh, well, there's a. He kind of goes all over the place, but there's a place downtown that. Uh, he goes to a little diner, right? There's a place downtown. Well, he actually. He came. He went and had ice cream with uh, Jay Z. No, not with Jay Z. With Jay -Z. He brought Jay Z to the diner that I'm talking about. No, not that. Not that. Do you not know what one. I'm talking about? No, I don't know. What he you're went, about. he goes to a diner, a little place, and he has a uh, Coke and a sand and an open face beef or something crazy. Yeah, that's 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 downtown. But I don't remember going with Jay Z. That's the oh, story. Jay Z you came to tell me that. I Jay Z was that. here. How do you not know Jay Z was here? Uh -huh. Jay Z, come. He doesn't want to be on. <laughs> Nobody wants to Everybody on. comes to the show to watch me, but they don't want to be on this. I don't know. Maybe it's personal. There's a there was an ice cream shop where the uh, where I'm lactose intolerant. Do you not read my bio? I'm lactose intolerant. You're pitching well, pizza and ice cream. I'm I'm just, I'm just throwing these ideas out there. Yeah, you a nice questions. urgent I care. I don't go to we urgent do. care. We do. We have an urgent care actually right down the street. I get a little as belly well. ache. So everything you need, your food, and then the hospital right, right. after. It's all right. right here for you, so you can enjoy something. You know. I'm in. <laughs> you're I'm in. in. Now, uh, where do you got? What do you got coming up after this? Any any big projects you're working on besides the the new CBS album? show? Uh, I'm, I'm writing this new script, this new pilot or whatever. Uh, that's that's very time consuming. Then stand up touring and uh, life, living life, watching movies. Mm -hmm. Any any good movies you've seen lately? I saw the James Bond movie. I thought it was okay. Um, I've seen some other movies. I can't remember now, but uh, nothing out tonight. I was going to go tonight after the show, but. Nothing good. Yeah, I think the James I saw Bond Martian. Movie. Did you like it? I enjoyed it. Is it was it pretty long for you? It didn't feel long. It didn't it, feel long. Well, that's good. Was it two fifteen? About that, yeah. Did it feel long for you? Well, I'm, I haven't seen it yet, but it I'm just light picture, years. I'm just picturing like one guy on screen for the majority of the time. I feel like two hours. Can oh, you different. should watch it. You should watch it. I'll have to check it it's out. It's well reviewed on Rotten Tomatoes. Is it Rotten Tomatoes? Is that what you go by? I generally will just try to see a movie that I want to see, but I did. I was kind of up in the air on that one. I looked, and it was, it's in the 80s, mm -hmm. high 80s, I believe. Matt Damon, how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong, Matt Damon? I, he's one of my favorites. Now, so what, Blake Shelton maybe having a new baby? I did not hear Blake Shelton having a Blake new baby. Blake Shelton, Gwen Stefani maybe having a baby? <laughs> that's the new rumor? Oh, that's a good huh? skin. Let's, let's like, talk about that. Turn your chair around about that. <laughs> that's so an NBC that show. One. Look at that. So, so you can turn the chair around and say, I want that baby. Yeah. I want that baby. I think we just, I think we've talked about both of the shows that people watch on NBC. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. We can't talk about America. Uh, America's Got Talent is over. But you no. were also on Last Comic Standing. I did Last Comic Standing. 2010, I got second place, which is the known as the first loser. <laughs> was that was that more heart-wrenching or more proud than I'm you very competitive, so it, was ter I, I, it still comes up in my mind about once a week, once a month. I hate losing. And I will forever uh, remember that I lost that. No matter if I'm on private jets with a bunch of money and a bunch of TV shows, I will always have a grudge that I lost Last Comic Standing. I think it's fine to be a sore loser. I'm going to teach I my kids that. Why? Who needs to be a good loser? Yeah. You, Why would you be a good loser? Do you believe in trophies for I just all touch the your losers? Leg? You did not touch my leg. I did not notice. Uh, I do not. No, no. You don't get a trophy. No trophy for a loser is coming into my house. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no. Why would they get a trophy for losing? I don't know. If you think. don't let them know what it feels like to lose, they won't be able to know what it feels like to win. That's true. And also, it's a thing of like, if your kid sucks at something, if your kid stinks at a sport, <laughs> they should know to stop doing that and find something they're good at. That's what that's what life is. If you're, it's if you give a ribbon out and you give a trophy out and this kid just plays soccer and is terrible their whole life. They're losing out on the enjoyment of maybe playing an instrument, maybe playing another sport. Maybe they're good at swimming, but they're time consumed with soccer because they think they're good and they're not. I'll let my kids know, here's the things you're not good at. If you want to do them, if you enjoy stinking, then do it. But if you want to find something you're good at, let's keep searching. There you go. I, I have strong opinions on that. 
Well, I'm glad to know that. I'll yeah. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Make sure you check him out. He's going to be here I hope we tonight. got the clips. Got the clips. So got him in there. Friday, two shows. Saturday, two shows. And then I leave. So you, you have four chances. Come to all or come to one. That's the only option. <laughs> And how often do you hit the Omaha circuit, do you know? Maybe once a year. Once a year. So if you don't get it now, you got to wait a whole year. It's over. got to wait a whole year. So this may be sure. the last time ever. Last time ever. So make sure you come check him out. Tommy John again at the Funny Bone. All weekend, four shows. Pick one of them, get there, check him out. Thank you, Tommy. Thank Appreciate you. It, bud. Awesome.